What is up guys? Welcome back. Hope everybody's doing well. It has been a minute since I've done a Tube Tuesday and it's also been a little while since I've flown a 737 Gisa or Welcome back. I uh, haven't done anything to the plane. Cold and dark. Long time no see, Matayo. Into the cockpit, up to the overhead. Let's get the battery power on. Standby power is good. Be on ground power first. Close the uh, emergency lights. Go ahead and connect the ground power. GPU. On the bus. Uh, we are going to Palm Springs, which probably would be about 330 nautical miles if we were flying direct to, but there's an MOA or a restricted area or something, so we're kind of riding around that. So it should be about 450 nautical miles. Get those on steady. Logo lights on. Uh, seat belts auto. Double check. Zebo 737, yes. Lights are on and good. Back up here to the overhead. IRS align. Uh, where are we? Reno, Kilo, Romeo, November, Oscar. Copy that. We will set weight and balance. Oh, oh, where is that? There we go. Fuel weight and balance. So, uh, kilograms for some reason don't want kilograms. Customize display variants. Nope. Where is that? General config, there we go. Should be 41.2. Perfect, and block fuel will be 15.1. Never mess with the center of gravity, seems to work just fine, and we will go ahead and call the fuel truck. Verify fuel is being loaded. It is. Time is it? It is 5:30 p.m. here, and we will start with getting our eight. It's 122.0. Kilo Romeo November Oscar Airport Information Delta two one five five Zulu Weather Wind two five seven at one. Zero gusting to two zero visibility one zero sky condition few clouds at six thousand five hundred one six thousand scattered temperature six dew point minus one two altimeter three zero 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 Kilo Romeo November Oscar Airport Information Echo two one five five Zulu weather wind two five seven at one zero gusting to two zero visibility one zero sky condition few clouds at six thousand five hundred one six thousand scattered temperature six dew point minus one to altimeter 300 zero, zero, zero. advise on initial contact you have information echo information echo 24.9 clearance delivery ground 121.9 to one point kilo from find your seat please stow your larger carry on luggage in the overhead bin and place any smaller items under the seat in front of you we suggest stowing your roller boards on this aircraft with uh not bad sim just getting uh i've got like a plug in that plays radio messages depending on which frequency you got why is there a freaking cabin announcement playing Headset, just let a flight attendant know. Shut up. 33, close to Charlotte. Uh, that's uh, to departure Foxy transition. Uh, flight plan route. 3000. Zero, zero, zero. Right. And we'll take their transponder. 05. 55. 
I do use VatSim from time to time, but usually when I'm streaming, I don't, just so I can talk to people and not have to worry about listening to ATC instructions or anything like that, or readbacks. Alright, those are in. Weight and balance is good. Fuel is loaded. Loading. Still out there. Uh, delivery, good evening. Down here, the fun stuff. Root. Reno, two Palm Spring, Kilo Papa, Sierra Papa. And see what tower was. 118.7. Alpha Kilo, uh, we contact the branch at 7977. Uh, winds were 2, was it 2, 5, 7, at 10, gusting 20. Good strong crosswind. So we're going to take off runway 1, 6 right. So 11,000 feet, 1, 6 right. This is our general direction of travel anyway, which is good. Not going to be a bunch of vectors on takeoff. Uh, also, no SID today, so it's going to be direct to Pesky. And from Pesky, it's going to be direct to Lidat. Thank you, folks. Should go for. Looks like golf. I see it is. Thank you for the J92 jetway. And it's going to be the Beatty BOR. Then direct to Golf Foxtrot Sierra VOR, wherever that is. And then our arrival. So departures, arrivals, departure Reno. Going to be the 1 6 right. No SID, Root, Archer's Rivals, uh, then it's going to be the Cloud One. Via Golf Foxtrot Sierra. And I believe, let's have a look at the weather, what's the weather doing there? Palm Springs, winds 1605, so it's going to be 13 right. Arnav Zulu, 13 right. Take that. And look and see if we do want to do a transition. Oh boy. Fox Yankee Golf, give way to Q400 from your left and taxi Echo Echo Alpha. Give way to Q400, then Echo Echo Alpha, Fox Yankee Golf. I see no transition. This looks like a big curving approach, which is fine. No transitions, routes, activate, execute, and we'll go over here to flight plan. Maybe we will put a transition in. Let's do this. Departures, arrivals, arrivals. LS36 via TRM, which we're coming through anyway. Routes. Let's see what that looks like. So there's TRM. Yeah, that's much better. Delta Delta Romeo Cross 33 right, Maple 7605. Fox Yankee Golf, contact Dave and 12207. On 2207, Fox Yankee Golf, have a good night. Yep. Good job, plan map. Get that for 20 miles. And first officer side, usually put that for 80. Fuel is done loading, so we can go ahead and do our performance stuff. Zero fuel weight, 132.5. Uh, 
reserves. 5.5. Cost index 72. Cruise altitude, flight level 350. Cruise winds 270 at 78. ISA deviation is minus four. Translimit 18,000 is good. Outside temperature six, flex 40. D rates, regular climb. Takeoff, flaps five. Uh, center of gravity, there we go. Trim 4.8. I am I'm trying. We're going as fast as I can. Uh, V2, V rotate, V1. Whoa. 146. Runway heading for departure. 166. Altitude, flight level 350. And what is the airport elevation? Palm Springs Airport's elevation 476, so 500. Good to go. All right, that setup looks like the IRS is aligned. Good. Speeds are bugged. Start these guys, get the passengers loaded, and we'll come up top, start the APU. Double check fuel. Nothing in the center tank, so we don't have to turn those pumps on. Hello, wake up. Wake up, APU. There we go. EGT coming up. Come listen. Too hard to try explain. There's a you got a free demo, right? Guys, the view is on board. Thank you, ma'am. Still waiting on the APU, Jen. Come on, baby. Double check. Uh, there we go. APU on the bus. GPU. See ya. Um, and let's remove our chocks. Go doors. They're all closed, I believe. Air Canada 429 on Charlie 4. Air Canada 429, Grand Delta, Alpha, Alpha, Lima. Cross for 93 straight. That panel's good. Fuel's good. APU Gen on. APU's on the bus. Lights are off. APU's running. Don't really need the panel lights to turn this on. Emergency lights are armed. Seatbelts on. Wipers don't need. Starters are good. Probe heat will wait. Anti ice don't need. Pumps are on. And cabin pressurization is set and on auto. 
Is the anti-collision light on? Down here, and we'll give him a call. Brown to cockpit. Tow is driving up. Yeah, we'll do. Let's see if we missed anything. Battery's good, GPU, IRS aligned, light test, don't care. Oxygen, good, yaw damper's on. Uh, fuel, good. Emergency, exit lights on, fasten seat belts on, window heat's on, air conditioning as required. Flight altitude, landing altitude set, pressurization mode selectors on auto, auto brakes, RTO, hydraulics. Hydraulics? Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Hydraulics, good. Parking brake is set. Stabilizer trim switch is on normal. Radio aids set-ish. Why do I like simulation? Um, I don't know. It's, it's always fun for me. I fly in real life. It's good practice. Even though I don't fly 737s, but... Principles are the same. FMC CDU is set. Thrust setting and V-speed is good. Stabilizer trim set. Doors closed and for engine start. I think, like, generally, other games that have stories and stuff eventually get boring to me, but games that are simulations. There you go. Simulations never get boring to me. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. I mean, before flight simulators, I was really into racing simulators, and it's kind of the same thing. It's always, it's always exciting and fun. It never gets boring. We gotta wait a second for engine start. So when he pulls us back in front of this little dashed line, we'll start our engines. Also, if you fly in real life, man, you'd be amazed at how much stuff you actually learn from simulators. Let's do it. Packs off to the duct pressure coming up. Start the right engine first, go to ground. Wrong page. I get an engine page, please. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Engine Gen 2 is working. See so, yep. Switch over to left starter. Ground. I actually want to get American Truck Simulator. Sounds like it'd be a pretty relaxing game to play. 
Pinto is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. Sphinx. There's a little click. Switch you over to continuous, continuous, and both. Double check Gen 1. Good. There's our hand signal. Alright, Gen, get those on the bus. APU can go off. AP bleed off, engine bleeds on, packs back to auto. And you can get the air conditioning kick on, and we'll start a pro beat. I think we're good up there, let's see. Before taxi, generators are on, AP start is, AP is off, start switches are in continuous, pro beat is on, anti-ice we don't need, air conditioning set, and packs are back to auto, bleeds are on, isolation valves auto, flaps. Never played Train Sim. Honestly, that one seems like it might be a little boring because it's just it's like forward and backwards, right? Flaps there. Stabilizer trim is set. Let's do yeah, flight controls. Full left. Full right. Back. Forward. There we go. Controls free and correct. Where to go? There we go. Flight controls checked and recall. There we go. We are good to go. Get a taxi light. Park and brake. Bring the throttles up and see if we get a takeoff config warning. Nope. Flight directors. Let's go. We're not going to do LNAV yet, I don't think. It's going to be direct two on takeoff, so do heading. And we're going to taxi via. Bravo, all the way down to the end. Russia 2644, ground runway 24 right, information with scale timber 3020, back to Bravo, Charlie. Bravo, Charlie, 24 right, with 2644. We're going to go all the way down to Alpha. Follow the uh, our last one. Switch that over to Tower. to 0 0.8.
these are not hold short bars. That we just right. crossed. Hold short in front of us. There we go. Stop here. Do final takeoff check. We are on tower. Landing lights. Strobes. Transponder on TARA. And let's see, flaps are set, indicating flight. green. Stabilizer trim is set. Takeoff config is checked. Stabilizer trim, takeoff briefing. Uh, cabin secure, MCP is set, transponder, TARA, strobe lights are on, landing lights are on. Should be probably an hour 20, maybe total. We are about to go. Auto throttle. Tower, account of 453, uh, let's do four left. Account of 453, turn on tower, Q400 traffic at three miles final with the comp, they're going to land room by 24 left. Call on 24 left, account of 453. Uh, Alright, 40% and stabilize. Uh, give it a little crosswind correction and light forward pressure on the control column. That to departure. You might think that it's done four thousand. Four thousand. And down 1, here, we're going to go direct to Pesky. Click this, execute nav on the MCP. Follow the flight directors. Count two sixty to send five thousand. Five thousand.
Coming up in 10,000, so we get the autopilot on here. And turn off external lights. We're going to Palm Springs. Should be about 400 nautical miles from here. Looking pretty good outside though. Turn some wing and engine anti ice on. Palm Springs. There you go. Palm Springs is in California. It's like uh, maybe 70 miles east of Los Angeles. California. We just left Reno, Nevada. Springs, send it. When you are in your seat, please keep your seatbelt fastened in the event of unexpected turbulence. Please be careful when opening the overhead compartment. We ask that you use the lavatories located in your cabin, and please don't stand near the lavatories in the galley. You may now use all approved personal electronic devices. For everyone's safety, please make sure your personal belongings are clear of the aisle. We're pleased to offer personal device entertainment on our United Private Screenings option, sponsored by the United Plus Explorer card, on demand. All right, let's see. You should be able to get Los Angeles Center, Oakland Center, there you go. There's also an AirMet Tango along the way, so there might be some turbulence. Yeah, baby, look at that wind. There's standard altitude. All right, let's see what's going on here. Palm Springs winds variable six knots, 10 miles visibility, clear. Temperature 21, dew point two, altimeter two, nine or nine or eight. 
Alright, we're gonna continue with the Arnav 1-3. If it's a switch to, I think it was a 3-1 left, shouldn't be too big a deal. May have to vector myself around. My favorite food, Korean food or regular food? I think my favorite Korean food might be gopchang. Favorite food? I don't know, that's a tough question. you what's your favorite food? Gajang Juanan Mimsik Ladies and gentlemen, we have a passenger Escobar. Passenger Escobar. This is in regards to a special meal. Would you please identify yourself to a flight attendant? Passenger Escobar, please. Do they get freaking meals on this trip from Reno to Palm Springs? Fly United. Oh yeah, wait. I guess sushi is probably my favorite food. That's something I miss from Korea. Hey, hey, she. Hey, and soju, hell yeah. Uh, Meuntang? Okay, thank you. So I did an RNAV, so no ILS frequency to get in there. Because right now our VREF 142. And while we're climbing, we can have a look at the approach. Pull it up. So what are we doing? Looking at the RNAV at 13, RNAV 13, Zulu. Four, Probably have to revisit this momentarily. Bam. So, number one, checking to make sure that the plate is up to date. It's good until January 30th, 2020, so we're good. Starting at the top, approach course 130 degrees, runway length 6,857, should be good for us. Touchdown zone elevation 451, airport elevation 476. Uh, do you have alternate, what is this? Uncompensated 
Barometric VNAV systems. Procedure not applicable below 1 Celsius. So we're going to be good there. Uh, these are your radio frequencies in order of need. So we're basically going to go to TRM, the thermal VOR, and then they're going to intersect here. Cuxit, 210 knots, 7,001. Basically, VNAV is going to get us down, so I don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is watch speed. 210 knots. Let's see, Wasik, where's Wasik? 6,000. Last seven, 4,400. And minimums are going to be 812, uh, which is like 361 AGL. 360, and we're class Charlie. Missed approach, climb to 900, then climbing left turn to 4,000, direct to the TRM Vortac and hold. And then the hold's on the northwest side. It's oriented 310 degrees, and then 130 degrees. Basically, just do one minute turn, one minute, 130 degrees, one minute turn, one minute on 310 degrees, just passing over the VOR. Right. I live near Atlanta. Minimums are set. Approach course was what? 240. One two four six five is the Aedis in Palm Delta Springs. BHF two is on. Oh yeah, yeah, Coke, <laughs> Coke City, Majayo. SoCal approach one two six point seven. I'm surprised you've heard it. Most Koreans seem to only know LA and New York, like the big metropolitan cities. I mean, Atlanta's a big city, but I guess it's not a huge Korean population, comparatively. And there's actually a lot of Koreans around here, but I don't think it's on the same scale as Los Angeles. Yeah, it's the headquarters for Coca-Cola. Also, the largest aquarium in the Northern Hemisphere. I think, I don't know if that's still true or not. Two thousand to go. Airbridge Cargo 407, proceed direct Cape Bucks. 
Bridge Cargo 407, proceed direct to Cape Box. Direct to Cape Box, Bridge Cargo 407. Someday, where, if you could choose any city, where would you go? Your English is really good. New York. A little cold up there for me. Also a pretty expensive place to live. Thirty five thousand. We're in cruise boys. A cruise page, now we've got uh, two hundred and fifty six nautical miles. The estimated time is not gonna be accurate until we're up to cruise page. We're at point seven nine four. Seattle probably also pretty nice. A little rainy from what I understand. Generally I like the weather down here. The winters are pretty warm. Summer is pretty toasty. A lot of humidity too. Sipki. I hate that. Uh, Los Angeles Center. Uh today Austrian 65 Navy Center. Hello. Uh, Lay Shaman uh, from Flight Deck here. Seatbelt signs off. Gives you an opportunity to move out. Do ask while on your seat, though, that keep those seatbelts fastened for your safety and those about you. As we get closer, we'll update uh, weather gate information. Enjoy the ride. Thank you. What else we got? After takeoff, air conditioning pressure, engine start switches are on, our landing gear up and off, auto brakes off, flaps up, no lights, altimeter is set. Let's see what this checklist procedure says. Mod route for arrival, gonna have to wait. House with a large yard and two big ass dogs. 
That's one thing I missed when I lived in Korea is that everyone lives in an apartment, so no one really has big dogs, and I like big dogs. Now this should be pretty accurate. So 2352 Zulu. We are at 2328. So about 25 minutes. Halo, what do you mean? Oh, Halloween. <laughs> yeah. And it was always funny celebrating Halloween in Korea because I think a lot of particularly older Koreans didn't really celebrate it until recently. So there's a bunch of Americans and other foreigners that were dressed up in costumes and stuff running around scaring Korean people. <laughs> it was pretty fun though. When I was a kid, Halloween was definitely my favorite holiday. fuel check here. So, at the Beatty VOR, we're supposed to have, on board, 9.9, and we're right now 5.7, roughly, 20 miles to go. This is why our routing is going to take a little longer. 
been uh, correct. So Palm Springs is... where's Palm Springs? Right here, this little guy. So we could have gone just direct to, which would have been the fastest way, but we have to go between these restricted areas. It's China Lake, Naval Warfare Center, uh, Nevada Test Range. So I think this is Air Force and this is Navy. Maybe? And also, where is Area 51's around here somewhere? So we're going to go down, we're going to squeeze through these guys. And then TRM, so we're going to go down through here to TRM and then up Hotel and around. Long way. Hotel Fox, that's here, thank you. And as I previously mentioned, Challenger traffic, uh, probably about your 7 o'clock position by 10 miles. No conflict for you leaving uh, 1 3,000 for 8,000. But we might be able to see Las Vegas at some point, probably down another down 50, 60 so, uh, miles. Hotel Fox, that's here. In that direction. What's your favorite Korean holiday? I always liked Chuseok, but that was just because I didn't have to work. Favorite Korean movie? Man, there's there's a lot. Old Boy is really good. That's a classic. Um Memories of Murder is a good one. Korean movies are a lot different than, than Western movies. Like Most of them have unhappy endings, too. <laughs> Twenty minutes to top of the set. Solna, yeah, that's right. That's another good one. Lunar New Year. Do you eat uh, toku, right? There were so many days off, around, like from Christmas until Solnar, you barely work at all, like working in public schools. We go back for maybe two weeks, and then you have Solnar, and then you have like another break, and then back to school. That was a good time of year. All those cold as hell. I don't miss Korean winter. That's awful. Also, Chuseok is a lot different for Korean women. I think a lot of them get stuck cooking and everything. And all the food for, for Chuseok is so hard to make, like tedious to make. Like tea game kind of things where you're stuffing peppers, then uh, frying them. 
good food though. Spring. So somewhere around here, I think, is Area 51. Not that one. Encore 3404, do you send the 4000? Send 4000, Encore 3404. Yep, there's somewhere. Indian Springs. And Las Vegas should be around there somewhere. Encore three four zero four. Do you send the four thousand? Four thousand. John. Oh yeah, Padan. Kimchi done and makgeolli on rainy days. <laughs> so good. I think Las Vegas is in here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> all the other, the, the co-workers that I had in Korea were all women and they all complained about them. But being a foreigner is great because I never had to do anything. Like no one invites you to their house for a chisok or anything, it's a family thing, so you just get a week off to go travel or do whatever you want to do. Damn, making me miss Korea. Definitely miss Korean food. It's so expensive here. Like if you go to Samgyeopsal restaurant or something, I mean, pay twice as much for the food. And one bottle of soju is maybe, I don't know, $10. So manan, manitanan. But in Korea, it's, you know, like you go to a convenience store or something, it's chan yibek. How are we doing? 2355, 135 nautical miles. About 16 minutes. And that's Las Vegas. In America, living in the cities can be really expensive. If you're, especially if you're going out to eat and all that kind of stuff, but generally living is pretty cheap. I think last time I flew, last time you were here, I flew helicopters to Las Vegas. Now we're just going to go straight past on Palm Springs.
I actually hate casinos too. I, I suck at gambling. I've, I've only done I've, the only thing I've ever done at a casino is lose money. Musical, what musical? You're uh, so not money. <laughs> That's Vegas, obviously getting pretty close to Palm Springs. In fact, it should be about to turn, yeah, there's our inbound turn right there, 40, 50 miles. We're still on Los Angeles Center. Yep. crazy how much of this area is all restricted or MOA for military stuff. Phantom of the Opera. In the theater? I mean like a like a visit what do you call it? Like a not a movie theater. I've never actually seen it. Landing VNAV checklists. Yes. Oh, the original Broadway team is coming to Korea. That's awesome. Mode will leave on El Nav, so two nautical miles before the final approach fix. We're going to set the MCP altitude to our decision height, 
which is 361 feet. Interesting. I've never, never looked at these checklists. Come back to it. Well, usually once I get down to like 2,000 feet or something, I just set it to the missed approach altitude and then fly it by hand. And that is something that's expensive in Korea. Chipchimana. So that's like 170,000 won. So like $160. For one ticket? Wow. Where is the art center? Is that in Seoul or is that in uh, Daegu? You're from Daegu, right? Top of descent, 60 miles. Let's look down here. We'll go 3,000 for descent, since we're going to let VNAV do all the fun anyway. Oh man, if you think Chip Chair Mana is expensive, imagine New York musical. Maybe Dube? I don't know. But it would be cool to go to Broadway. Yeah, a little bit. I like I like music a lot. I've played music my whole life, but never got really into musical music, theatrical music. I can appreciate it. I'm, you know, obviously you can recognize talent and stuff, but I don't really listen to a lot of it. Six nautical miles, twenty three fifty six Zulu, five minutes. Uh, no, I've had a couple reports of some turbulence right in that vicinity. It doesn't last very long, and uh, no one's changing levels, so there's nothing significant. All right, thank you.
really threading the needle here. These are warning areas, which I guess are associated with this as an MOA. Oh, it's restricted. Uh, so restricted airspace with warning areas, so I guess we're flying straight through this little area. Are you a student? You no work today or not anything? Stay on Korean time too, because I have friends that are still there, so I message them a lot. It's weird because you only get like the evening. I can message them for a couple hours before I go to bed, and then when I wake up in the morning, get like maybe an hour or two to to chat with people, and then they're going to bed. <laughs> time difference in America. So you just stay up for another couple hours, then go to bed, sleep all day, be on my time. All right, T. We're coming up at the top of the descent. We're going to get auto brakes too. Got our radio minimums are set in there already. Uh, descent altitude, initial descent altitude is in the MCP, and our approach course is set as well. Doing pretty good. I've heard of it, I've never watched it. I know what it is though. Give us up seven nine one you want one four though. 
Top of descent coming up. Altitude's already coming down. Watch the speed here. I might have to grab the speed brake. I guess I don't hate them. I mean, probably as people, as a country, they've done really shitty things, but I'm sure that they're fine. I guess you're saying, like, the Korean, North Korean people are probably nice. Kim Jong-un is... Not the Nseki. Alright, switch this over to the you can proceed direct my talks to send a niner thousand. And tower one one niner point seven. I think Palm Spring is over there. So what we're going to do is dip down in this valley and then circle around and land in that direction. Assuming... <laughs> not been taking my time. Let's see if we, what the ATIS is doing. I don't know why it's not picking up. Still variable at 6 knots, so I'm going to continue and plan on. Let's try to switch this to VHF-1. Two, four, six, five. Let's see if it's on one of these. Palm Springs, Adis, one eighteen, two, five. That might be why. Thank 
How do I know Napa? Everyone, I think everyone who lives in Korea or a foreign country picks up some of their bad words, I guess. What was the ATIS frequency? 118 point what? Afraid now they're going to switch us to 3 1. Palm Springs high NTL information uniform. Zero hundred Zulu weather. Wind three five zero at six. Visibility more than ten. Sky clear. Temperature two zero. That's going to be the other 2. way. Two point one. Altimeter two nine nine eight. Arriving runways three one left. Three one right. Three Bravo Departing Hotel runways three one left. Three one right. Advise on initial contact. You have uniform. Well, that is going to be a different direction for us. So, sync up our direction here. Come back down here. Uh, routes, departures, arrivals, arrival. Not you. Going to be three one left. RNAV. Switch it up. Get a transition. We're not going to do a transition. We'll vector for that. Execute legs. So we're going to vector downwind. Brief for that approach now. So let's go here. Hold at 7,000. Should keep us clear of terrain, at least that direction. Pull up the new approach. Runway 31 left. Bravo, Georgia 7371, 4741. Georgia 7371, right, just speed 19 to Zerna. Take two. Alright, so we're going to intercept there at Tevuk. Uh, be at or above 4000. Final approach fix, just up 2,900, and minimums are 734, so radio minimums would be 304, one mile visibility, we're good. Missed approach, climb to 1,800, then climbing right turn to 4,000, direct to the TRM Vortac, uh, same as the other approach. So the only difference is the minimum, so 304 instead of what we've got in there, which is close. Later, good night, have a good one. Kisa Dom Shigane Bayo. And let's vertical speed ourselves. 240 is okay. <laughs> nado, nado.
Delta. Two Mike Sector, hold speed one eight zero knots. One eight zero knots. We're going to turn it back inbound. Two Mike Victor, hold speed 180 knots. 180 knots, Mike Victor. And we're going to say minimums are 304. Pretty close. Via 061, descend 4000. <laughs> bye bye. Actually, we'll vector back over to TRM. And then we will go direct to Tevuk. So at or above 4,000. 4,000? So 5,000 of TRM and then direct to our approach fix. Temperature is at or above 10 degrees, so we can turn these guys off. Totally forgot I had the anti eyes on. Guardian Sony 371, This is one of those times that actually being on with remote air traffic control would have definitely helped out because they would tell you what approach you were going to be using well before you even started your top of descent. So it wouldn't have been on the arrival and then that late when we got the ATIS. But it should work out just fine. We're going to live.
4,000 or above 4,000 when we get there. And then we'll switch back over to VNAV and then it'll get us down to the runway. Get the slats out. Echo Juliet Delta Medivac, descend 6,000. Speed brakes are armed, auto brakes are set. Go ahead and re-engage VNAV. Now the speeds will change with uh, flap setting. We need to get, got it, approach, uh, VREF 139. Back on VNAV, go ahead and get this to our minimums or decision height, 300 feet, 400, but I'll probably disconnect the autopilot when we're on final. Glide path coming down. Like we are descending. Sadia 061, no delay now, descend to 3000. 3000, no delay, Sadia 061. Turn and final, gonna switch it to control tower, and ground is 0.9er. Tiger Guardian, Mr. Water, Armor Express 304, 4 to the left, Sadori 500, request midpoint for downtown. Number six, three, four, identified on number and disengage this. Get one zero 
1,000 feet stabilized, Mr. Perch altitude. Mr. Perch altitude is not set. Cook at 1014, heavy contact ground 1217. So looks like it is not really lined up with the runway. Just following the flight director, so we can do this visually. Way off the center line on that one, jeez. the APU. Cover 53, 51 wheels up to you, uh, about 9 past. Still go in sequence. You can follow us, Shannon Hotel, Barry 287. 287, and keep following us, 53, 51.
Russia 2766, same for you, 187, your number, four to go, good point. 2766, yeah. Ground Air Canada 705, joining Delta 4 for heat uh, 161. Canada 705, Delta 4, Delta, cross 3 3 right, Alpha, hold short tango. Delta 4, Delta, cross 3 3 right, Alpha, short Alpha tango, Air Canada 705. Ground Air Canada 705, joining Delta 4 for deep, uh, 161. Canada 705, Delta 4, and Delta, cross 3-3 three, three right, Alpha, hold short tango. Delta Park and break. Delta, cross 3-3 three, three right, Alpha, short, Alpha, tango, Air Canada 705. Anti collisions off, strobes are already off, seatbelts off. Canada 5 2 3 20, 2 0, Watch a replay before we get out of here. Not too proud about that one. The damn airport. Here we go. Flared a million feet off the runway. <laughs> the floaty and all the way on the left side. I guess if the smoke is new, I don't remember that. This is a uh, 3.38.4 or something like that. This is the most up to date one. It came out January 10th. 
One more wing view. All right, dudes, as usual, I am out of here. I'm going to let a taxi to the gate and shut down, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. We love you. Thanks for hanging out. Guys, cheers. Peace.